It's so good to see you. You look really, really I'm well. Good. I, feel really fine. You're fine. I feel fine. But that stroke you had was blinking awful. I mean, it, it was scary. scary. I thought I was going to die. I mean, I'm 39,000 feet somewhere between Bangkok and London. I, I suddenly, I thought I had cramp, which sounds pathetic. Right. But then I thought, no, this is actually a bit worse than cramp. And I had a stroke on a plane. And I was very lucky. I mean, I was just incredibly lucky. And now I know more and more of the statistics. You know, mm. one in eight still die. Stroke kills more women than breast cancer and more men than prostate and testicular cancer combined. I mean, it's, it's very scary. It is really I was just lucky. I ridiculously did not want to, you know, go and see a doctor on the plane and... Because where would you land between Bangkok and London? You know, know, you choose. Where would you, where would you go down? You're Afghanistan, Baghdad, which would be, you know, Syria? Because that's what you're flying over. Of course. So I got to this fantastic hospital and they, they were wonderful. And I did lots and lots of physio. This terrifying woman used to come with this bag that said, pain equals pleasure. Oh, and they no. just beat lumps out of me for an hour every week. And then and make you then make I gave you her money do. and thanked her. It was very, very strange. <laughs> very and, strange. I, and I got better, but so many don't. So I I'm know. doing the awards tonight. Again. Yeah, big awards tonight. It's a yeah, big it's, it's, it's a, a huge big event. One, I mean, everybody said, oh, God, that's going to be really sombre. It's not at all. It's a joyous occasion. Yeah. It's a triumph of the human spirit. Well, obviously, speech is quite an important part of my life. And, of course, you know, of course. So I did all this ah, e, ooh, and all that for months. But, um, I mean, I am very lucky. I am very lucky. Usually they will say, you know, get once you recognise the symptoms, you know, and everybody knows the face mm. which I had and, and slurring and my arm didn't work and my legs didn't work and all that. Get to a doctor, A and E, anyone as fast as you possibly can because every minute makes a difference. Yeah, so it could, you know? the, the, well, the, I couldn't the, help yeah. it. I was on a plane. I was about fourteen hours before I got to a doctor. But that was remarkable. It was very lucky. You, something like that's going to change you, though, isn't it? It's, I don't it's think so. I'm as daft as I was <laughs> when you knew me when you knew me back in time when we back in together. time. I know, but it does. But did, did it not sort of make you reassess? things maybe and yeah, just think um, what's important and all yeah. that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, I've changed my life a bit. I mean, Jane, my missus, is, is very, very tough on me about food and stuff, so I don't right. sort of eat pies and chips. So you look after all. yourself? I don't drink whiskey at all, which you I used know. to drink rather a lot. Right. Um, Has that been hard? It's actually not. It's Isn't like right? when I stop smoking, I just don't smoke. You know, there's, there's a lot of whiskey around the house and I just give it to people. I don't sit there going, oh, I really fancy one oh, of those. Oh, that's good. All. So that's just a total change. Yeah, strategy, Jane's good on the food and stuff and I do quite a bit of exercise. You just look at and I'm still, I mean, I'm still working. I'm still doing things like the railway films. But well, I'm not thing... working 